session shall be in order and no calling of the roll with respect to Shedd's office shall be required. At this time, the chair states that she has been furnished with evidence that there is only one candidate for nomination for the office of vice president who has demonstrated the support required under rule 40B of the rules of the convention. Delegates and alternates, the chair recognizes and is pleased to introduce John Husted, Lieutenant Governor of Ohio, for the purpose of nominating. Please give him a warm welcome. Are we ready? Are we ready to nominate a vice president? How about you, Ohio? That's awesome. I'm John Husted, the Lieutenant Governor from the great state of Ohio. It is an honor to speak to you all this afternoon to formally nominate the Republican nominee for Vice President of the United States. Ohio is the heart of it all. And that is certainly the case once again here today. The vice presidency is an office of sacred trust. The man who accepts this nomination accepts with it the awesome responsibility to give wise counsel to the president, to represent America abroad, to preside over the Senate, and to be ready to lead our nation at a moment's notice. Such a man must have an America first attitude in his heart. He must, amen. He must embrace his obligation to the American family, the American worker, and the American soldier. He must believe that America is exceptional. and be prepared in the tradition of our founders to pledge his life, his fortune, his sacred honor to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. He must share the values and principles of our presidential nominee and be trusted to faithfully implement the will of the people. J.D. Vance is such a man. J.D. And welcome to the five. We are about to see J.D. Vance nominated to, to be the vice presidential candidate. We want to listen in here. A man who loves America and will represent our people with moral courage, strength, and honor. J.D. is a living embodiment of the American dream. He came from humble beginnings, and even as his life took him to places he might have never imagined, he never forgot where he came from. Ohio values are in his blood. He served our nation in the United States Marine Corps. He is a graduate of The Ohio State University. He graduated summa cum laude from Yale Law School and is the author of the best-selling book, Hillbilly Elegy. And he is a crusader for the people of the Ohio in the United States Senate. He has never forgotten the working people of our country, and he never will. He fought to bring investment to middle America as a businessman and has fought to defend them every single day in the Senate. And this I know, this I know, 
he will faithfully stand by President Donald Trump's side as they win this election and change the course of our nation. They will change the course of our nation to the benefit of all American citizens and truly make our country great again. It is therefore my honor to nominate Ohio Senator J.D. Vance for the office of Vice President of the United States of America. Delegates and alternates, pursuant to Rule 40A, a motion to nominate by acclamation is now in order. The chair now recognizes Delegate Bernie Moreno, Senate candidate from Ohio, for the purpose of making a motion. Thank you, Madam Chair. My name is Bernie Moreno. I'm honored to be the Republican nominee for the U.S. Senate from the great state of Ohio. I know firsthand that my dear friend J.D. is a selfless and brilliant fighter. He is a patriot who loves America. He loves Ohio. He loves his family. He's a great father. He's a great man. And that's what we need in this nation today. To J.D. Vance, America First is not just a slogan. It's his North Star. He has followed it every moment of his life and career. He knows what it's like to live in poverty, forgotten by Washington politicians. He is dedicated to ensure that no American is ever forgotten again. <laughs> Madam Chair, it is a great honor to move that J.D. Vance be nominated by acclamation by this Republican National Convention as its candidate for the office of Vice President of the United States of America. Without objection, the previous question is ordered. The question is on the motion that Senator J.D. Vance be nominated by acclamation. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. All those opposed signify by saying no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and the motion is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. <laughs> Delegates and alternates, Lester Holt is able to say, what about what you said? So now Joe Biden is in the crosshairs. He's actually, people are holding this against them that he initiated this assassination because he said it's time to put Trump in the bullseye. And now he's trying to defend himself. Guys, this couldn't have been worse for Joe Biden because now it just makes him seem like he tried to take out his opponent. When I talked to a guy today, we discussed, well, what happened to Americans being able to vote for who they wanted to be in office. Why does it come down to political parties deciding who they allow, who they want to be, and allow us to say, okay, we take whatever you give us. No, it should be up to the American people to decide who gets the opportunity to be the next president of the United States. Guys, there's so much that are happening. J.D. Vance is the new VP for President Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump, and Hopefully, they're going to take this thing. I don't know. Who knows? But we do need to put America first again, and things need to be better. But what do you think about J.D. Vance? Let us know down in the comments below because I've heard of him. I didn't really know a whole lot about him, but he's very good at uh, strategically answering questions, talking, and when it comes to being able to be quick on your feet and to be able to uh, have conversations, difficult conversations, he's very well, um, and he's good. He's top of the game. I thought he was going to go for more for the other guy, Scott. I mean, just because people were bragging on him and 
people were all like, man, this is the, the best candidate, and I think it's super popular, but for some, uh, you know, many people are shocked, but J.D. Vance is the VP, so we'll see what happens. So many people are like, whoa, what's, you know, I don't, they don't understand, but a lot of people are like, man, couldn't pick a better candidate, so he, uh, they said he's just like Trump, supports Trump, everything that Trump does, this guy has been a Trump a uh, supporter, a fan, and a believer in what he wants to do for this country. So they're not going to have any issues out of him, and he'll definitely do a lot better, I think, than Mike Pence and Kamala Harris put together. Guys, I am excited to see what's going to happen if, in fact, they do take the election and President Donald Trump wins, VP J.D. JD um, Vance takes it. So we'll see, guys. But I'm super excited. Stay tuned. We've got more videos coming. We'll see you guys in the next one.